Hi, Kurt and Free here again with another repair video or trying to repair, whichever you want to look at it, depending on how successful we are, or I am even. <laughs> um, today, I'm trying to fix these uh, Turtle Beach uh, wireless headsets. I think they're 600s, I think they're called or something. Turtle Beach Series 600 Generation 2 or something like that. And I bought them off eBay for um, uh, 25 quid, including posted packaging. And the fault with them is that the microphone's not working. Now, my son's actually got exactly the same set. And um, basically, I know that when he turns it on and he moves the microphone up and down, it's supposed to beep to say that the microphone's on and off. Now, if I turn these on, I've got the tone there to say that they're on and the green, green light flashing. So that says it's on now. I don't know if you should be able to hear it, but I'll just make sure everything's up. But if we turn it, turn the microphone, you should be able to hear it beep when this goes backwards and forwards. So that's telling me that the um, maybe the switch, the internal, maybe there's an internal switch there that's not being turned on and off when we're moving the microphone up and down. So we'll. Uh, Tear it down, we'll have a look, see what's what, and if we can fix it, we'll uh, we'll have a go. Well, I should have said that um, these are just this was this was already this was on when I got it. All all that happens is that you just pull that straight off. It just locates in that groove there. So if you need to take this off. I just had already had it off because I wasn't sure how it came off myself. So I thought I'll pull it off and have a look. So, I don't know if you can just see just there, there's a micro switch it looks like. I was just wondering if maybe that might have um, 
wiring has come come undone but uh it doesn't look like it So I've just flicked that over then and I could hear it going boop, 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 boop. So it is definitely this. It looks like it might actually be snapped. See what type of switch it is. Yeah, it definitely looks like the bottom of the um, switches has gone full, has snapped off. I'm just struggling to make out what's going off with the actual switch itself. All right, so yeah, the actual switch itself has been damaged. I can, I've just flicked off the top of it so I could see what, what was going off 
but it looks like the actual whole mechanism has been snapped. Not well, the whole base of the the switch has been snapped, and then it looks like. The actual switch itself, the actual... yeah, the actual switch itself, the, the it's got like a little uh, rocker. Yeah. Yeah, it's got like a little rocker that rocks, like a little point, a bit like these uh, tweezers, and it should rock backwards and forwards. But I can tell that one end of it's been snapped. Yeah. So. Ah, uh, yeah, and it's all, yeah. So the spring actually, the camera ain't gonna pick that up, but the the spring that, that makes it flick back is on the piece of the of the uh, switch that's actually been snapped off. So literally, it's just like a, when it's in one place, it'll just be always pushed up and then it pushed back down, you know, when, when the arm's in. So I'm thinking that if I just switch this back on, See, yeah, someone's really forced that back, or it's been hit. But it's hard. Gonna, it's going to be hard to tell if that's on or off. Can you hear that? Hard to decide now what to do. What I could do is I could just bridge it on the switch, and then then again it's the whole the whole switch anyway. So if I can, if I bridge them. If I bridge the contacts on the on the uh, switch, uh, because if I do get a replacement switch, I'd have to take the the whole lot off anyway. I could always just solder these two wires together, but. I'd prefer just to do it actually on the base of the switch itself because then if I ever do manage to get out of the switch I can replace it quite easily. So yeah, I think that'll be the the best way to go. Just gotta wait now for my soldering iron to warm up. When it's all warmed up, I'll be back in a second.
So I have just bridge, bridge those two bits there now. So there, this should be bridged. So um, put it all back together, and then I'll test it, and then I'll know.
Okay, so we're all back together now. Nah. All the buttons seem okay. So what I'll do is I'll go test them out on my Xbox and uh, I'll be back in a second and we'll see uh, we'll see what's up. See if they're working okay. Right back in a sec. Okay guys, so all done. Uh, I was wrong, so uh, the switch needs to be open, not closed, for the mic to work. So when I soldered that up, I actually did it wrong. It, it shouldn't have been the two contacts connected together. They should be separated. Uh, so yeah, if you ever get that issue, quite straightforward really. The only issue I've got now is that, it doesn't matter if it's up or down, the, uh, the microphone's still gonna be on, which I can live with that. These are just for me, so. Uh, if I do think I'll need to get a switch for them, then I might do, but to be fair, for what they are, for what they do, there's no point. I know these, uh, I think these retail at about 80 quid, I think, looking online. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, but for what I'm gonna use it for, pretty pretty decent, really, so. So yeah, I've tested them, they all work now. So yeah, if you have the same issue again with the mic not working, um, just check that switch. And if you can, um, just uh, flick off the top of top of the end, like I did. I mean, the switch itself, the body of it was completely uh, completely broken. So flick the top off, which then uh, managed to to um, to get in there. And then, like I say, you want those two contacts separated. You don't want them together. You, you don't you don't want the two poles put together. You need them separated for the mic to work. So. I know it wasn't the best of videos or how-to videos or anything. Um, quite straightforward, quite simple, really. So, but I do hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, if you did find it entertaining or whatever, um, just chuck us a like and a subscribe. You know, and uh, like I say, I don't really spend much time. I can't do the funny editing and the funny clips and the great uh, soundtracks that other people have got time time for. But you know, I like to every now and again. Put some content out there try and keep ebay for what we, uh, ebay sorry uh, youtube what we used to to learn from to find out how to fix things so yeah if you ever have an issue with these headsets and the microphone's not working check that check that switch that's turning the uh, arm on and off um like i say there's con that contact that switch needs to be open not closed so like i say again hope you find it interesting uh, and I'll catch you on the next video.